When should you desex your dog? I don't know. I'm not a freaking vet. I'm not a dog trainer. I'm not a dog behaviorist. And I've only ever owned one dog in my life, the one that I have currently. However, I do absolutely love my dog. I want the best for her. I want her to be as healthy and happy canine companion as she can possibly be. And when it comes to an important decision like desexing her or not desexing her, I want to make sure that I'm making a decision that is based on the most current scientific evidence on the topic. And by the end of watching this video, you're going to be just as shocked as I am of how different the current scientific evidence is and the recommendation that I'm getting from my local vets and whether or not I've actually decided to go ahead with the desexing or not. Before we try to figure out when would be the optimal time to desex her, I'm going to give you a little bit more context so that you know a little bit more about me and you know a little bit more about her. As I mentioned before, I'm a first time dog owner and we didn't have any dogs growing up. Six months ago when me and my fiance moved to a bigger place, we wanted to get a dog. So we got Pema, a cross between German Shepherd and Rottweiler, Shepweiler. She was eight weeks old at the time and she's grown up to be an absolutely awesome companion for us. And I have to say that we've put a lot of effort into training her to be a good companion. You know, we did Will Atherton's Perfect Puppy course, which is a fantastic resource that I would recommend everyone who wants to know more about dog training, why you should train your dogs and actually like how to do it and to understand why you're doing certain things which are really really important i would highly wholeheartedly recommend you doing the perfect puppy course we've also taken her to puppy school at our local dog training school and also the adolescent school so that's five weeks each of more training we've socialized her a lot and now she's great i can take her everywhere i want she behaves really well she's got good manners she can walk on the lead really beautifully and it's just great being with her out in the public and at home so i'm really happy that i've put in the time and effort into training her and I want to make sure that I continue along those lines when it comes to an important decision like desexing her or not. And the day when Panna turned six months old, I received text messages from the vets that we've been to in the past. And both of them were saying that, hey, yay, congratulations, your puppy dog is six months old. When should we book her in for her desex surgery? We should do it as soon as possible. The vet said that it's a good idea to desex a female dog because it can increase the lifespan, which would be nice, and it can also reduce some of the unwanted things like going on heat, you know, behaving weirdly because of that, having a period, and then obviously having an unwanted litter of puppies as well. However, to me, removing a dog's sexual organs when they're only six months old sounds a little bit too early because it's very well established that a dog is basically a teenager until they are two years old. That's when they kind of become fully mature psychologically and physically. To my mind, intuitively, it doesn't quite seem right that if she's only going to reach maturity at two years of age, that we'd remove her sexual organs at the age of six months and obviously dramatically mess up with her endocrine, her hormonal system. So because I'm inherently a very skeptical guy and I usually don't just take things when people say it, I want to see some actual evidence of it. I started looking for it. So because she's a Shep father, there is very little direct research on that breed of dog because it's a, it's a mixed breed. So instead, I looked for evidence on when you should desex your dog in German Shepherd dogs and in Rottweiler dogs. And now I'll go through the findings of two studies, one on German Shepherds and one on Rottweilers. A retrospective study evaluating the long-term effects of spaying and neutering surgeries. So spaying is desexing in females and neutering is desexing in males. In German Shepherd Dogs published in 2016 in the Journal of Veterinary Medicine and Science. Oh, that's great. So that would mean that it's probably a pretty legitimate study. And probably these vets who are giving me this information, they've probably also read this research, right? The study took place over a 14 and a half year period and it looked at joint disorders and cancers on 1,000 
170 German shepherds. The study reported a significant increase in cranial cruciate ligament tears or ruptures in male and female German Shepherd dogs that were neutered before one year of age. And it also noted a significantly higher incidence of urinary incontinence in female German Shepherd dogs spayed before one year of age. 5% of intact, meaning non-desexed females, had one or more joint disorder, whereas the number of females with joint disorders jumped to 16% in those that were desexed before a year of age. And the numbers were even worse for males. 7% of non-desexed dogs were diagnosed with joint problems, whereas a whopping 21% of early desex dogs were diagnosed with joint problems. There were no significant differences in cancer rates between these groups. All right, so we have a significant increase in the risk of a joint disorder in German Shepherd dogs that are neutered or spayed for one year of age. That's weird, right? Wouldn't you think that the vets would have remembered to mention that when they were sending me those text messages? The second study that I would like to share is titled The Effect of Neuter Status on Longevity in the Rottweiler Dog. And this is a highly interesting study because if you remember, the main reason why the vet said that it's a good idea to desex a dog is because it's going to increase their lifespan. So super interesting to see what this paper says about the effects on longevity. The study included 7,185 Rottweilers and it spent over a 27 year period. So that's a huge number of dogs that we're talking about and a very long follow-up. So that makes this a very interesting thing to pay attention to. The study found that Rottweilers that were snipped before one year of age had a shortened lifespan of one and a half years in males and one year in females when compared to their intact counterparts. Okay, wow, that's interesting. So here we have this study with the massive sample size and a massive follow-up period saying exactly the opposite thing to what these vets are saying to me. They're saying that this is gonna increase the lifespan but then this research is actually saying that it's going to reduce their lifespan. I mean, it really makes sense, right? Like we're talking about really messing up with the endocrine system in a massive way. Like think about it, if, if we were doing this on humans, like obviously we don't, it's an absolutely ridiculous thought, but like obviously it's going to have an impact on the well-being and the longevity of this organism if it hasn't reached full maturity yet before you take away its sexual organs. To me, as a first time dog owner, it's absolutely wild that these vets are giving these recommendations in the name of improving the health and well being of your dog if they're actually not supported by scientific evidence and in fact are completely the contrary of what the evidence is saying. In fact, I've decided not to take Panna to a vet unless there is a very, very good reason to do so because every time that we've been to the vet, I have walked away with, first of all, a couple hundred dollar bill, but second of all, I walked away with this nagging feeling on the back of my head that I've just been taken for a ride because of the fact that I'm a first time dog owner, I have no clue what I'm talking about and like it's just easy to sell me stuff. That's the feeling, that's the gut feeling that I walked away with. And I wonder whether you've ever had similar experiences with vets. I'm pretty curious, can you relate with that? Let me know, share it in the comments. I would love to hear from your experiences. Now the other concern regarding desexing is behavior. You know, Panna right now is in the kind of the teenager phase and she can be very, very intense. But at the same time, I, I love her intensity. I love her energy. And I, I, even though at times I wouldn't say that I absolutely love it, but you know, in hindsight, like it, it's, it's great. It's great to have such an intense and such a big personality on that dog. 
a lot of people will say that desexing your dog is not going to have any kind of an impact on their personality. But again, like if we were to just for a moment think about doing this to a human, how many of your friends have been desexed when they were a teenager? And what kind of an impact did it have on their mental health and personality? Well, obviously, that's a ridiculous question. We don't do that to humans, but we know that that would obviously absolutely fuck someone up really really badly right so because of the fact that i absolutely love her just the way that she is right now and i don't want to take any chances with that and the scientific evidence that i've just shared with you i've actually come to decide that you know what i'm not gonna desex my dog i'm not gonna desex panna unless there ever becomes a very valid medical reason to do so because this can apparently happen so if, you know don't just be like, okay, I'm never going to desex my dog because this one guy said so on YouTube. No, no, no. Apparently, there can be some very valid medical reasons and behavioral reasons to do so as well. But before we reached that point, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to write it out, see what happens, and just try to deal with the things that are going to come along for the ride. And I'd be curious if you'd have any recommendations for me. First time dog owner, I've never experienced, obviously, her going on suit, or anything that kind of goes along with that. Like, if you have some recommendations based on your own experience of some tips or things that I should know, would you please let me know in the comments? I would love to hear that. I hope that it goes without saying that I'm not suggesting that all veterinarians are crooks. Of course, there's some great practitioners out there who are really out there for helping animals because they love animals and they're not there to just make a bit of cash. But unfortunately, these two that I've been exposed to just have left a really bad taste in my mouth. But obviously, it just means that I need to be a little bit more proactive about finding better ones. Also super keen to hear, what do you think about desexing a dog? Have you desexed your dogs in the past? Will you desex your dogs in the future? Why did you do so? Why wouldn't you do so? Very curious to open up a discussion in the comment section with you. So I'm looking forward to connecting with you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.